Hi, so I just want to take you through some um, my blind design. So the blind was um, constructed through Hopkins Fittings. Uh, it's a bottom-up roller. Now the, the advantage of having a, uh, a bottom-up blind is you can have some privacy with the light coming in. The piece that I couldn't really find anyone to do until I found Hopkins Blinds was, um, was this banding that sits on, on the rollers themselves. Uh, on the blind itself, I should say. They give it strength. And the roller at the bottom there is a sprung roller. So it's at its most tense when it reaches the top. Uh, it's a bottom-up roller. And what's, uh, what's interesting is that it's fully concealed in the aperture that it sits in. Uh, so if we have a look down here, we can see that the roller is sort of sat in here. Underneath here is a um, is an aluminium uh, piece of uh, piece of metal uh, sat on some angle brackets that support this piece so it's not very strong uh, and it sits in there. The roller itself it's using a, a Somfy motor a 13 centimeter roller I believe uh, and it slides up into this um, this aperture around the window here. It overruns this area by about um, 10, cen 10 centimeters and it goes all the way up then into uh, there and it pulls up just above this space here. This, um, this weight here is for the, um, the projection screen. Now the way that it connects at the top is there is a roller, uh, a uh, surface mount pulley there, which then moves across up to a central point, which I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to show you the mechanism from inside the cavity here. So what happens is um, because the the way that the system is, is not perfectly lined up uh, with perfectly vertical runs um, or there, there's an element where they, they travel different distances because this is off to one side if you see here the roller here is off to one side so the distance they travel isn't perfectly the same which means um, it will be tight when it's at the top on one side and it'll be loose on the other side. So there's a pulley here um, with a bit of rubber, um, which is effectively a spring. Now I could use a spring to do that, um, but I had some rubber, so I used that. And that means that um, there's an element of pressure that's always put on this, um, which just sorts out that process. So if I send this up, you see that this one here moves towards this one here, uh, and I'll probably get round to a spring at some point. And you can see the roller there as well, just spooling onto the roller. It starts to make some noise at the end. I recently changed the rollers, so it's, um, it's a bit less noisy. As the um, cord gets tighter, it does start to make a little bit of noise. 